So, Rap to Inspire, is it number nine? I think it's, yeah, it's number nine. Hell, that's crazy. Time goes by. And I'm going to tell you, this track was pretty crazy. It was pretty, it was a part of my morning routine. I wake up, I pump these guns. Saying, just saying. But anyway, um, after pumping these guns, I rap. I usually work out and then I rap because my voice kind of opens after I uh, work out and stretch. And I had this like low bassy kind of weird tired voice as you can hear in the first uh, verse that I do it and that I actually recorded it. And it just came out as in like a, 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 an exercise of memorizing uh, memorizing lyrics. So I just realized that that's what I wanna that's what I wanna write for this week. So it was awesome. The rap was written yesterday, by the way. Like, what day is it today? It was written on Monday. Recorded it today on Thursday on Tuesday, and the whole process of this was just inspired by dudes. People are going crazy in this world uh, not going crazy but you know just like me how I was I was like oh I was thinking I upload a video oh my god I got 50 people watching it nobody loves me oh my god but that's not the truth the truth is that things take time to take off and it will take time till this video it will inspire you if you're somewhere around the world. If you're my friend, it probably inspires you on the first days of seeing this. But, you know, um, for this to, t to get to you, it takes time. You need, you need to rinse and repeat. Don't stop. Um, I gave the Michael Jackson reference. Um, rinse and repeat. Take these odds and beat it. Michael Jackson... Uh, Never want y'all to be, to, um, never wanted y'all to be defeated, and it's just a reference because Michael Jackson is such a huge, huge thing, and his message was so positive, and I really the fact was that that he's the one one of the artists that had a huge media scandal. And I'm not trying to be political right here, but I'm saying that, you know, the person had his goal. It doesn't matter how, whatever way you look at it, um, he had his goal. And, and I feel like he got it, you know? He changed a lot of lives in the world. So I try to kind of continue his, what he says. And really... I feel like he he put his word out there and you know went with it so consistently and so hard into it and he's a such an such an amazing amazing inspiration there's a part with there's a part with Dr. Zeus in the end and I grew up on his content I read all the places you will go not too long ago and it has such direct reference to people trying to live their dreams and do whatever they want and and I hope this will this will put you in perspective me as a creator everyone faces his own things his own shit and his own own hardships and the fact is that you have only small things that you can really really take control of and this is the things that you can control a lot of things a lot of us get bummed about things that we um do not control and it's okay because it happens and we but but the thing is we make assumptions instead of going and doing what we really can to either make these assumptions not true or just you know to face it we don't we don't face it with the actions we can do we face it with getting into bad feelings and hardships. I really, really hope this comes out clear. Um, and I really hope whoever is seeing this is waking up in the morning. You're waking up in the morning and you're thanking for something. 
okay? There are people who are wishing they could have one of the monitors you're seeing this at somewhere in the world. So be grateful, be thankful for whatever it is you do have and you do bring to the table, thank for it and it will multiply for you. It will work for you. And and yeah, and in and, and the song, in, the, in, the, in this last little verse I do, I just say that I know I'm not, I'm not, I'm far <clears throat> light years from being perfect, but I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it and I'm looking at it in the face, looking at it straight in the eyes and telling it, okay, now I'm gonna face you. I'm not gonna run away from you. Um, uh, and I take what I have and I embrace it. Okay, first step is to embrace what you have, what you do have, and then face all these things that you, uh, um, I spy in my, I spy in my new supply of things I used to cry for. It's like, it's just talking about, first, it's, it's like lyrically funny because I spy in my little eye or whatever a person would think, but um people are looking into their own materialistic things and it's not enough for them but really like really so what i'm saying is just like it's 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 you'll hear me saying this more but be thankful for what you do have and you can be thankful for and the resources you do have. Be thankful for it. Be grateful for it. And gratitude only brings amazing things. So, peace out. I'll see you in the next rap. Hope you like it. Write your comments, tell me what you thought, what you think I can change, what you think I can do better. I've been doing all the production and everything. Let me know what you think. You can leave comments down below you can leave me whatever you want tell me what uh, what subjects you you'd like me to talk about and maybe I'll do it see you next week peace